So if you are planning to kickstart 2022 with the best Ubuntu-based Linux distro, then Ubuntu DDE is the ultimate Linux distribution you must try. Now, Ubuntu DDE is a combination of Ubuntu with the most beautiful, the deep in desktop. Now, this is a fantabulous flavor of Ubuntu that you have been awaiting, which looks more modern and stylish. The simple and sleek interface of Deepin Desktop with a combination of Ubuntu takes the whole desktop experience to the next level. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. This is Ubuntu DDE 2110. Now in this video, I'm going to talk everything about this distro. Also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on any computer. So watch the video until to an end. Let's get started. All right. The moment you log in into Ubuntu DDE, this is the home screen you would be greeted and this is the wallpaper you get to see which looks amazing. Now before talking about the UI and its features, let me go to settings and show you guys the system information. Now as you can see by the time of recording this video, Ubuntu DDE is based on Ubuntu 2110, the latest version. You can also use the Ubuntu 2004 LTS version to get supported for 3 plus years. Now this distro uses a kernel 5.13, so which is not an LTS, but it's stable enough to handle the OS without any issues. Ubuntu DDE comes with a customizable dock that is present at the bottom. A dock is a place where you can pin your favorite applications and organize the things your way. So it speeds up the overall workflow. To the bottom left, you have a three controls, the launcher, show desktop, and multitasking view. The launcher you get to see in deep in desktop looks much better than any other Linux desktop. You can find all of the installed applications over here. Now along with that, there are a quick shortcuts to music, videos, documents, power controls, settings, and more. It's time to talk about the immersive mode of the launcher. Now tapping this icon takes you to the whole new launchpad where you can see all of the applications organized in categories. Now this way you can easily glance through each category and find the application you need. Now just look at this guys, it's fantabulous. Now this kind of reminds me the launchpad in Mac OS. the bottom right, you get to see a few system controls. Uh, there is an option to control the sound, manage internet connections, and more. You can also hide or unhide these toggles based on your liking. There is a power button, now tapping on it, it brings up the power menu shade. Now from here, you can choose to log out, reboot, or shut down the computer. Also, you can find a shortcut to the trash, and most importantly, the notification center. Now tapping this icon takes you to the notification center, where you get to see all of the system notifications. The Deepin File Manager is a powerful and easy to use file management tool featured with searching, copying, trash, built-in file compression or decompression, and other useful functions. Now this is my favorite file manager of all time and gives you more control to an end user with all the functionalities they need. For example, you can connect to any server within a few hops. The UI of the file manager reminds me a files application in iPad OS. The buttons, labels, folder icons, search bar, everything looks super fancy. With Deepin Desktop, the settings application looks completely different if you compare it with other desktops. It is a unique settings application that can let you tweak the system. The three column layout gives you more information about each setting you use. Now 
Now, Deepin provides an easy way to customize the desktop. Now, within the settings, using a personalization, you can enable dark mode, change the accent colors, fonts, icons, and cursor themes. Now, I would say, like KDE or GNOME desktop, you won't get a more options to customize the system. Now, instead, the Deepin team decided to go with a minimalism. Now, speaking about the dark mode, the Deepin desktop looks much better than any other Linux desktop out there. Now, each and every built-in application, along with the whole system, looks magnificent with the dark theme. But just like GNOME 40, Deepin Desktop provides horizontal workspaces. Now, workspaces refer to the grouping of windows on your desktop. Now, you can create a multiple workspaces which act like a virtual desktops. It will display a currently used workspaces plus an empty workspace. To jump into a workspace overview, you can tap on multitasking view. Now this shows all of the workspaces. From here, you can glance through the applications running in the background. Now to create a workspace, you can tap on the plus button. Now Deepin provides a shortcut to switch between these workspaces seamlessly. Now simply hold the super key, then press left or right arrow keys on your keyboard to switch between them very easily. This distribution also provides an app store named as DDE App Store. The whole application is written using the DTK framework and the source code of this application is available on GitHub. Now, that means you don't have to worry about the vulnerabilities by using this application. Now, most of the Debian applications you get out of the box can be updated from here. Now, Using this application, you can also search and install any third-party applications. For example, you can search for a GIMP, the popular image editor, and install it. Now, For programmers, you can install your favorite IDE from here just with a one click. I don't know from which source the app store relies on, but I wonder it may be using a both Flatpak and Snap to install most of the third party applications. Thanks to the minimalism, Ubuntu DDE remains to be one of the fastest and responsive Linux desktops that can handle the load without any issues. I did not face any major issues so far, but I have noticed there is a weird problem with the Kvin window manager. The minimize button seems to be unresponsive and won't let the app minimize to the dock, which is sort of a bummer. I don't know whether it's a glitch or a problem with the Deepin desktop. Now, apart from this, launching applications is super fast, no hiccups or any stutters you would face. Now, overall, I would say Ubuntu DDE 2022 is the best and fantabulous Linux distribution which provides a Mac OS look-alike experience. And don't worry about any spyware or malware or any such things like that. Ubuntu DDE seems to be a transparent about the system usage when it gets compared to other Deepin based distributions. So what do you guys think about it? So let me know in the comment section down below. Now it's time to show you guys installing Ubuntu DDE on your computer. So go ahead, grab the latest version from the link in the description. The first link takes you to this page. Now from here, you can download Ubuntu uh, DDE 2110. So if you're looking for an LTS version of Ubuntu DDE, so then choose a 2004. Now once it's done, burn the ISO to the USB drive using a Rufus. Now in my case, I'm installing it on a UEFI based machine.
Once it's done, restart the computer and I choose the installation medium from the boot menu to boot Ubuntu DDE. Once it's done, you can see the live session of Ubuntu. Now here, choose to install Ubuntu option. Then select the system language and click on next. Now choose region, time zone and keyboard layout. Now select your drive. Now in my case, I will choose to replace a partition with the free space that I have left for Ubuntu DDE. The installation will take some time depending on the writing speeds of your drives. Now once it's done, reboot the computer and eject the thumb drive. That's it, now your system boots into Ubuntu. Now if in case you see any issues in regards to python.boost error on UEFI machine, try using USB 2.0 ports and create a partitions manually for boot EFI, root and swap. Now this could fix the problem. And that's pretty much it. Now if in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon to receive the post notifications of my latest videos. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle signing off.